Hi, in this screencast we're going to learn about the atoms, what parts are in it, um, and what numbers they are, and how you can tell which element is which atom. The most common model of an atom looks kind of like this. You have several pluses or things in the center, and you usually have at least one ring, if not many more, and um, particles floating on the outside. So what are those particles and why, where are they always located? Alright, so the particles in the rings on the outside are called electrons. And we know that electrons have a negative charge and they have no um, measurable mass. Okay. The positive part on the inside is called the proton. And the proton has a positive charge, but it also has a mass that we can measure. The other particle in here is a neutron. And the neutron has, a, has no charge and it has a mass. Okay, you also happen to have shown here, we have the electron cloud, and we have, where all these particles are in the middle, we have the nucleus. Alright, let's look at protons. Protons are usually shown with a P plus, and protons are always in the nucleus, and um, protons define the atom. So they define the atom. And in this example we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six protons. And so this element has an atomic number of six. And if you look on the periodic table, carbon has an atomic number of six. And every time we see six protons in a particle, we know that it will always be carbon. Um, so it's pretty easy to count, and they the, remember that protons always have uh, a mass, and they have a positive charge. All right, next particle we'll look at is electron, and the electrons are negative, and they are in the electron cloud, and that orbits around the nucleus, and the protons and electrons when they are equal demonstrates that it is an atom and it has neutral overall charge. Okay, and remember electrons have a negative charge and they have no um, measurable mass. So in this case you can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six electrons and remember this image is also containing six protons so that tells me that it is an atom. Last particle is the neutron, and it has an overall neutral charge, but it does have a mass. And when we look at this, they're going to be in the nucleus. And in this case, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six. So this one has six neutrons. And when we add it to our six protons, the other particle that has mass, we get an atomic mass number. of 12. And if you look on carbon on the periodic table, it has 6 protons and 12 is its atomic mass. So that tells me that the atomic mass is always equal to the protons plus the neutrons. Alright, so let's look at this example. In this example we see the number of positives here. We see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, there are seven protons in this um, model. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven electrons. And that tells me that because my protons are equal to my electrons, that this is an atom. And when we count the neutrons, one, two, three, four, and I believe there's a fifth one back there. So we can guesstimate that there are five neutrons. And because this has... um. The protons are seven, that means that this is nitrogen. Now, you may be looking on the periodic table and going, but wait, when we add the protons and the neutrons, we get 12, which is not equal to the one on the periodic table that has 14. And something else is going on there, and we'll look at that in a later screencast. All right, so this is the last example I have prepared. Um, go ahead and push pause and see if you can come up with the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons looking at this model, and see if you can come up with the atomic number and the atomic mass 
and then push play to check and see if you were right. So go ahead and push pause. All right, so when you counted it, you see that there's one, two protons, and there is one, two neutrons in the um, nucleus. You also have two electrons. And so we can see that our protons and our electrons are equal, so this is an atom, and that our protons of two and our neutrons of two give us an atomic mass of four, and that the element is um, atomic number of two, and that is helium. And if you check helium on the periodic table, it most often has an atomic mass of four. I hope this helps. If you need to play it again, please do so.